We live in such a planned obsolescence time where it's all about every year you buy the newest iPad or the newest tablet, and it's all about disposing the things you had. So what does it take to build something that you don't dispose of? Like that's kind of the idea behind this. I've really spent like a month just milling these little bearing blocks and they're really, uh, it's one of the most boring pieces in the whole thing and it's not very exciting from like an augmented reality perspective, but in, in the end it's like fundamentally one of the most important because it's the thing that's going to allow it to not break when there's heavy duty use on it. One of the big ideas behind it has been that you can upgrade components of it without necessarily having to replace the whole thing. So the case can stay the same, the optics can stay the same, and probably what'll happen is we'll have like a tablet that we just slide in and out of it as time goes on. So each year as more powerful tablets with higher resolution screens come out, we can just literally pop in the latest one and know that it's good to go. We use basically this new technology called WebVR, which is it takes uh, the web browser and makes it a window for virtual reality rendering. And we started working with this idea actually before WebVR even was kind of coming out and realized that our paths were converging with this team from Mozilla and Google that were teaming up to build WebVR. So in terms of the, the approach, when we're, say, say they're at a science museum or something, the in-house staff at the science museum will have the ability to not only make content for it, but dynamically push content to it wirelessly. I mean, there's lots of different goals I have with this thing. There's the goals of making it something that can exist at museums and historical sites, and then there's the more directed action goals, where how can we use this to point attention to, to shit that's messed up in the world, in particular to urban development and the way cities develop. There's a lot of stories that get left behind and a lot of communities that get left behind when you're building an apartment building or you're building a new skyscraper. And this is about building a new way of telling stories in spaces with community engagement, with the engagement of that fit, of that location itself. Because augmented reality, it, it, it was so contextless, right? Like, it's always about how can I have this, like, character dancing on a table in front of me? And it was never about how can I start thinking about how information is directly connected to the space I'm in. And that's where I think it's gonna really blow up and change the world.